Hello and welcome once again to our Daily Soap. Uh, we're continuing our journey together through 1 Corinthians and today we're looking at 1 Corinthians chapter 10. What verse or verses stood out for you today as you read from 1 Corinthians? For me, it was verse 31, which says, So whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do everything to the glory of God. My own, oh, my observation is, I've been created by God to bring him glory in everything, and I underlined everything. Whether I view something as big or small, it can always be done or treated in such a way that would bring God glory. My A, oh, my application is, I need to view everything, I need, let me back up again, I'm sorry, I can't read my own writing. Uh, my A, my application is I need to view everything, even those things that seem so mundane to me, as an opportunity to bring him glory. Someone is always watching me, so I need to exhibit Christ in everything that I do. And finally, my P, my prayer is, Lord, grant me the wisdom to approach everything as an opportunity to bring you glory. And may my life always be used to point others to you. Amen. So this is my grip today. What is your grip? How is God speaking to you? I know um, so many of you are hearing different things. And I think I've said this before in a previous video, but it's been amazing to me how people will pick the same verse, but they'll have a different observation or application in a prayer. Um, it's just a reminder to us how God uh, uses his word to speak to us no matter what uh, phase of life that we're in. He always has something to say to us in his word. It is living and true. And it's God's uh, playbook or his guidebook, instruction book for our lives. And it is so important that we spend time in that word. And so I congratulate you for continuing with these soaps and uh, listening to the soap videos and everything. Uh, it's just amazing. And I just pray for you all that God is speaking to you. And as a result, you are growing stronger and stronger in your faith. Now, as we prepare to go, I'd like for you to join me in a word of prayer. This pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Thank you for your word, as I've already said. It's living and true, and it speaks to us no matter where we are in our lives. Father, as we read your word, may you use that to mold us into the people that you have created us and that to be and that you want us to be in our lives. Father, let us never look at the small things as in this life as, um, as really not important. Because, Father, you can use anything and everything to bring you glory and do for our good. And, Father, help us to remember that each and every day of our lives. Father, thank you for your great love for us, and we love you. And help us to live a life that reflects that. And I pray this in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Have a great day. Be blessed, and I'll see you again tomorrow.